Hi everybody, today is the fourth day after Easter and so we are doing some of the stories of that time between when um, Jesus rose from the dead and the time that he ascended into heaven. So today our story is the stranger on the beach. So you can check that out. And who was the stranger on the beach? Um, was it Jesus? Yes. So what were his friends doing? Fishing. They were fishing. Was that was were they having a really good time fishing? No. No. no Why? No, no, no. Why? Because I'm gonna catch any fish, and he he helped them catch. Fish. He helped them catch a whole bunch of fish, and then they had a big fancy fish. Snack? Yeah. No. Breakfast. A breakfast. They had a fish breakfast all together. Fishy. So you can fishy. take a look here. Fishy. Yes, fishy. You can hear Clay. Today our craft is making fish. So I have drawn a fish for Clay, and he's decorating his paper and decorating his fish. Mm. What is this? What is this? Fishy. Fishy. Clay just turned two. So there is a lot of different age things that you can do here. Okay, but Cole has, what is this? Is this regular paper? Uh, what is it? Paper towel. Paper towel. This is very important. So you're going to need a paper towel cut into the shape. You can do this with lots of different shapes, but obviously it for our lesson to be, today. It has to be uh, like a fish. Like a fish today. So. And its tail looks like the moon. Okay, so I have gone ahead. We're coming to you a little bit late um, on our video tonight, but we um, I cut it out for Colt, but depending on your age group, you can have them cut out their own fish. You can make different size sh um, and shape fish. So we have our fish, and what are you going to do? Um, make patterns or stripes. Okay, so patterns. go ahead and do that. So I just had Colt choose three. Nice job. Yes, those are your fishy. I had Colt choose three colors, and obviously, depending on the age of your child, you can have them decorate the fish more elaborately. Colt is making a design using washable markers. So this same um, activity, you can use Sharpies and rubbing alcohol, but today we are using washable markers and water because that is more age-friendly um, for, for our children. So you can see, he's just gonna color his fish, make some stripes. Reggie, Reggie, Perfect, mister. Why don't you go ahead and add a little bit of your green or yellow to it. That's okay. It's okay. All right. So why don't we use what you have done right there? That is very good. We have a fish with an eye and a mouth and some cool looking stripes. You're going to add a little bit of green. All right, just a little bit of green, so then we can show everybody what it's gonna do. You wanna make dots? Some more stripes, there you go, that's cool. All right, let's see what our next step is. So we're gonna put our lid on our marker. Now you can see here I have a water mister, so you just need like a water spray bottle. You do not wanna put it in, just dunk it in water, that won't work. So we're gonna spray it down here. And we've put a mat underneath it as well. So we just want to get our marker wet so that it will um, do our next step. So we have sprayed our fish, and that's why we use washable marker. Here. And yes, the boys like to be sprayed. So um, that's another reason that water is better than rubbing alcohol. Hold on. Now, Jesus' friends were having trouble. Just a second, Clay. They were having trouble catching fish and Jesus helped them so that they could catch lots of fish. So we are taking our fish. We placed it in the middle yeah. of the paper towel. We are going to close the fish and click Colt. You can pat that down. Pat that down. Very good. 
And then we are going to open our paper towel. And Jesus helped his friends to catch lots of fish. So there is our activity for today. You could talk to, depending on your age of child, you can talk to them about symmetry. That's really cool. Nope. All right. So there's our fish. And have a great fish breakfast.